All right, so you started Total War Three Kingdoms. You go to campaign, and you can't find Dong Zhuo. Well, why else would you wanna go look for Dong Zhuo to play as in campaign, unless you really want Lu Bu, who is basically the best fighter in all of China. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to get Lu Bu in your faction. Um, I feel like that's a pretty good consolation prize. Choose Ma Tang right here. Our difficulty, I don't think it really matters. But start it out, skip this because we don't need this. Should be a pretty quick thing right here, probably less than five minutes, and we're gonna get Lubu into our uh, into our faction and keep him. That's probably the very, very important part because um, I think the, there's there's ways to get him and not keep him. But obviously, what's the point of doing that, right? That doesn't really make sense. Before we get started, make sure you do this down here. Thanks. Okay, establish your power, blah blah blah. Uh, first battle is right here. Delegate this. Okay. We get that. Cool. I'm, I'm going to take the income here. Um, I'm going to move this guy just a little bit right here. Uh, this is kind of an optional step. You don't really have to do that. Very important thing. End your turn. You cannot do anything until the until turn two and you will see why here okay so click dong actually before you do that go to your court family tree click ma tang divorce so ma tang and hua lan li are now now not married anymore um now you go to diplomacy click dong Zhuo, negotiate trade and marriage you want to choose receive marriage if you choose offer marriage you, you will not get lubu receive marriage while on lee lubu click confirm all right look at that they're very happy with that you could even just do a trade agreement for this i mean this is really good you know you get a trade agreement for uh getting lubu it's like a double positive right there post deal he'll sign it so after after he signs that, see that proposer Walan Lee, proposer faction Matang, recipient Lubu, recipient faction Matang. Okay, cool. So now Lubu is technically in our faction. You see here, <laughs> satisfaction zero. How do we change that? Well, we go back here to our family tree, right? You click Lubu here, and you want to make sure make heir. All right, this faction is assigned heir to the faction leader. Confirm. All right. So now, look at that green satisfaction, 73. This guy is super happy now, and you will literally get to keep him. Now, the second thing here, it's a little bit optional. It costs a lot of money to raise him. Someone, um, I think... I think it just makes sense if you're really desperate. You, I mean, you're making 1k a turn. You could wait, I don't know, uh, at 2k here, you're going to wait six turns to get Lubu. Or if you're really desperate, right, you uh, pick pick up Pong De or a cheap general, recruit a cheap general if you're over here still. But if you don't really like Pang De, then you basically run him over here, make sure you control the battle, and you just make sure he gets killed. Um, and then you'll basically recruit Lubu there uh, to lead the, the retinue. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, Lubu, again, our faction heir. Look at this very cool dude right here. Warrior without equal. Who doesn't want him in, in, in their faction? Uh, that's going to be it for this. Make sure you end a sub. Thanks.